going on guys welcome back to the channel i am joby the natural gearhead and today i got my daughter with me hey hey and what we're doing today it's going to be a little different than the other car shows that we've filmed in the past i'm not going to do a whole lot of talking this one i'm going to let the cars do all the talking so we're going to hop in the bird here and uh there's a few shows today it's an awesome day we got the t-tops off and uh we're just going to go out rip around you know this i don't know within an hour range here there's probably three or four shows i don't know at least we could hit a couple so uh maybe we'll film some cool cars hot rods maybe some motorcycles i don't know what we're gonna see so if you're into cars and motorcycles and whatnot stay tuned and uh you know we'll see some cool stuff together all right come with us hop in let's go All right, guys, you know the deal. Every trip, you know, Wawa, secured. Got the iced coffee in hand. We are ready to go. Let's hit the road. Alright guys, I'm going to be doing some voiceovers in this one. Just They were playing a lot of songs at these car shows. It gets in trouble with the YouTube. You can actually see the uh, DJ booth here on the right. Um, awesome when you're there. Not great when you're videoing for YouTube. But uh, basically, this video is going to be a little different is what I'm getting at. But uh, you get to see some cool cars. You can sit back, relax, enjoy a little bit of audio tracks in the background. We meet some cool people here. Um... Actually, this couple walking right here in front of us got to meet them. They have another silver Ram Air Trans Am, like the one I have. Low mileage car is really nice. You'll see it in the video. But um, again, sit back, relax, and enjoy these cars. Alright guys, here's a uh, collector's edition, 2002 Trans Am in the yellow color of course. It's not my favorite color on these, but it's a clean version of this car, and uh, if you like them, you don't see them as much as you used to, check it out, there it was. Now this Grand National, man I'd love to have one of these cars, these were bad to the bone back in their day. They're still sweet today, they're just not the fastest thing on, on the road nowadays, but they're still quick, and I'd love to have one. Um, but anyway, oh, 67 Chevelle. And everybody knows I'm a little partial to these cars since I do own one. And this is a big block car, which is right up my alley. Um, and the vinyl top on this is something that you don't really see very often anymore. Usually they rot under there. Everybody gets rid of the vinyl top when they redo the car. So let's see what kind of transmission we got. Ooh, yep, four-speed bang some gears bah, 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 bah. that's what I'm talking about big block four speed can't beat that and 67 Chevelle all right I'll stop back in check in with you in a minute and uh, enjoy these cars man it's a nice day out
All right, guys, you know I got to talk about this car right here. This is one of my favorite TV shows growing up, the Dukes of Hazard, which made this car just infamous. This is now an iconic car, and the price, it follows that. You can't touch them. I can't. I mean, I'd love to have one, but uh, this is Scott McElroy's car, a horsepower ranch, and uh, I see him get it out quite a bit, driving it around, and you can pretty much hear the song in your head looking at this car, just the good old boys. Alright guys, anybody who knows me knows that this car means a lot to me. I've owned it for 24 years. I bought it brand new. It's been with me a long time. And to see its twin sitting right beside it was such a cool experience. You don't see these silver WS6 cars ever. And this was the couple that I was telling you about earlier. I got to meet them and hang out with them for a bit. Both really cool. The owner's name is Keith. And uh, man, it's also a clean, low mile car and i've never had another silver ws6 car or sit beside mine before so it's just a neat experience there was actually a black ws6 car right across from us too which was really cool but um anyway let's get back to the show see what else we can find and check out some more cool cars Oh, I got to talk about this car. This is an alcohol-fueled, blown big block, 1968 Camaro. Just monster. You've seen him dumping the alcohol down the throat to light this baby off. And uh, it's got wheelie bars. It, it, it uses them. It needs them. It's not just for show. It's got a parachute. He did trailer the car. He kept the trailer in the other parking lot, which I thought he drove it on the street, which I thought would be crazy. But let's hear this thing fire up. That sounds so nasty, and uh, the audio in this video doesn't do it justice, but... Ooh. cut out of this show and we're gonna head down to another show uh, it's actually at the church so we're gonna rip down there it's about an hour from here so this one's really cool seeing a silver Trans Am just like ours met some new people met some new people uh, another black WS6 Trans Am that was really cool it was right across right sitting right across from ours so we're gonna head down to the church and check that one out and see what we can see down there so come along with us
All right, guys, here we are pulling into the church parking lot. They had a really good turnout. I mean, it's just a beautiful day for being outside and enjoying some cars and friends and family. Oh, man, look at them square bodies. I need another square body. Somebody talked to my wife about me getting another square body. And this Impala we parked right beside the red and white color scheme is probably one of my favorites. Um, with the red and white interior, just a beautiful car. It's got the bubble top windshield on it. Man, sweet. All right, let's look around and see what else we can find. Oh, and the Trans Am. My ride or die right there. This was actually pretty cool getting to see these vintage tractors at a car show and uh man i love these things if you're a gearhead you probably love anything with an engine and tires just like i do so i'm sure you're enjoying these i'd love to have one just don't have to land but maybe one day look at that small one with the dual back wheels this c10 right here i've actually met this guy um turbo ls setup patina look it's been filmed on motor trend if you watch motor trend uh shows you might have seen it on there um i believe it puts out 800 horsepower it's a sweet sweet build and uh there's that turbo staring you right in the face but uh let's keep looking see what else we got Look at that 57 wagon ls powered it's got the holly ls fest sticker in the windshield two-door so this is like mine mine's a 56 this is a two-door handyman wagon really cool nice interior a lot nicer than mine jeep hey look there's a belly button i mean a trx I call it a belly button because everybody's got one. Oh, grand national Man, that's sweet.
So this 57 is really putting out those Project X vibes, which Project X is a 57 Chevrolet that's yellow, just like this car that Hot Rod Magazine has owned a long time, and they've constantly changed up the engine and transmission setups, and uh, it's been really cool. That square body, you're just rubbing it in my face. Big block with a sneaky nitrous setup in there. Man, he snuck that in there. This is a cool build right here. The roll cage kind of gives it away, but being tubbed out like that with a fuel cell, big block nitrous truck, this is a sleeper. You roll up on this on the street, it's it'll have something for you, that's for sure. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the second car show. Hope you seen some cool cars that you liked or whatever. Did you have a good time? Yep. Yep, she had a good time. So, again, guys, just get your kids out there. Get these, you know, kids involved with these cars because we're going to need them. Take care of them and be future hot rodders. So, again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share all the things, and uh, see you in the next video. All right, so as we grow out of this show, we're going to hit some back roads on the way home and let you enjoy some of the back roads of Florida. See you in the next one.